Hi, I'm Alex Sumner. Today I am going to vlog about the publishing phenomenon which is Harry Potter. Many people are currently saying goodbye to the Harry Potter phenomenon now that the final film has been released, quickly forgetting that it will all start up again by Christmas when the DVD comes out. Hey ho. Nevertheless, while we are waiting for J.K. Rowling's next literary adventure, now is a good time to review Harry Potter's legacy. Harry Potter has accomplished many things over the course of his seven adventures. He has defeated the evil Lord Voldemort, made inbred ginger mutants socially acceptable, inspired that amusing YouTube video about the pipe bomb, given rise to an unhealthy amount of Harry slash Draco fanfic, and single-handedly caused the downfall of all organized religion everywhere. Most interesting though is the attention to detail that J.K. Rowling included when writing. So authentic was she that she based diagonally, and flourish and bots, on a real-life magical bookshop in London's West End, the name of which I can now reveal. The real flourish and bots is a bookshop called Watkins, in Cecil Court, near to Leicester Square Tube Station. As evidence I cite the following. The entrance to Diagon Alley is via the Leaky Cauldron, which in Book 3 is said to be on Charing Cross Road. In real life, the entrance to Cecil Court is on Charing Cross Road also. In addition, there is a licensed bistro at the top which obviously is the model for the Leaky Cauldron itself. And what does one find if one ventures down Cecil Court, but a large bookstore which for over a hundred years has been one of London's three leading purveyors of magical and mystical tomes. Hence, Cecil Court is Diagon Alley, and Watkins is Flourish and Bots. QED. It is also interesting to note that the Covent Garden area, which is the approximate vicinity of Diagon Alley generally, has historically been associated with astrologers, fortune tellers and occultists so the setting is actually quite natural. So until next time, happy conjuring. And please subscribe to receive further updates.